as an A-level econ student, you're probably very familiar with the idea that Singapore is a small and open economy. Our unique economy is one of the main reasons why we adopt such a unique form of monetary policy. And this lesson will explore why this is the case. Firstly, as a small and open economy, our external sector is roughly four times our GDP. We're highly dependent on the external sector, which means altering our exchange rate has significant impacts on economic activity. Additionally, since we import so much relative to our GDP, including many raw materials, altering the exchange rate also has a significant impact on the price levels in our economy. Exchange rate policy is very effective in managing imported inflation, which we'll learn more about in the next lesson, and thus is also very useful in achieving our goal of price stability. In contrast, our small domestic sector coupled with a small domestic multiplier mean that traditional monetary policy using interest rates is rather ineffective in Singapore. This brings us to what we call the open econ economy trilemma, which is a hypothesis that states that it is impossible for a nation to achieve one of the f uh, all three of the following policy variables at the same time. And these variables are one, a fixed exchange rate, two, free capital movement, and three, an independent monetary policy. A country can only choose two of the three policies above. In Singapore, due to the aforementioned reasons, as well as our desire to be a financial hub, which requires that we have a high degree of capital mobility, we have chosen one, a fixed exchange rate, and two, free capital movement, and abandoned the ability to have a sovereign monetary policy. Singapore is thus a world interest rate taker. What happens when we try to fix our interest rates above or below the global rate? We are not required to explain why this trilemma is a trilemma in H2, and a brief explanation would be that due to our openness to capital flows, the resulting inflow or outflow of hot money would serve to push our interest rates back to its original level, therefore counteracting anything we were trying to do.